Hello and welcome to my review of the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Lumineth Realm Lords army set from Games Workshop. Now this set will set you back £110. It's quite a lot of money, uh, but it is worth it. Now what does it include? Well, you get 20 really nice special dice. Uh, they're kind of like, well not fluorescent, but they're, they're lovely translucent uh, yellow uh, with some uh, runes on there. They're all the same runes, but they are basically a six if you were to get um, that uh, when you roll it. Now, a set of these, it's like special dice, uh, are usually 10 pounds for eight, but you get 20 here. So you could easily double that and say that that's at least 20 pounds worth of um, sort of special dice. You get uh, a range ruler, which, you know, your mileage may vary. Uh, it's nine inches, uh, it's cardboard, um, it, it might last a while, I don't know. Uh, something that will probably last a bit longer is this little range ruler uh, for your melee weapons and things. You've got an inch there, you've got three inches, you've got two inches, that's quite useful. It is just um, uh, numbers that are printed and then stuck on the back of a piece of plastic. Uh, you get a load of uh, tokens right here, which is quite nice. Uh, and then you get a load of cards. Again, um, they're really nice quality cards uh, for your battle traits, um, your command traits, different laws, uh, basically the psychic powers and things, um, your, for your mages, which is nice, your magics um, for your mages and your archmages. Uh, oh yeah, uh, and then, and it also com comes with a collector's edition um, battle tome right over here. Now this is a beautiful soft touch, gold edged pages with a ribbon bookmark. Um, one of those books would normally set you back £50 individually, and that's 96 pages in that one. Uh, oh yeah, and you also get some miniatures. You get five uh, Venari Dawn Riders right here. Beautiful models, lovely uh, steeds. Uh, you get 10 Oralan Wardens um, with a Blade Master. And you also get the Light of Altharion right at the back. So a lovely box set. Yes, comparisons have been made uh, of this compared to uh, the most recent Indomitus box set. It was sold out very quickly. And also, that's a different kettle of fish. It includes the core book in there, which is worth £40. So you're technically getting all the miniatures there for £85. So it's a really, really good deal if you manage to pick one up. However, they would have produced an absolute ton of those. Um, even though they did sell out, uh, they would have produced uh, a certain number of them. If they sold a set number of them, uh, not all of them, but if they sold a set number that was way less than the number produced, they would have covered their cost back. With this box set and these Lumineth Realm Lords, they're a brand new faction, brand new army. They haven't been around for as long as Space Marines or Necrons. They're untested um, and they're all new miniatures, but they're not unique to this set. Uh, I want to make that point out, unlike the um, Indomitus uh, models. They're all unique uh, to that set. They are push to fit miniatures as well. These are not. These are full multi-part kits. Uh, the models in here um, will be available separately at some point, unlike the Indom Indomitus ones. Um, but I think on the back of uh, how popular they've been, I reckon we'll see Games Workshop either having another release of that uh, set or releasing some of the models in there uh, separately. Maybe even to start collecting, maybe even a couple of um, army sets or start collecting sets, who knows. But anyway, this is a great start for Lumineth Realm Lords. However, as I'm always critical of Games Workshop, I, I'm against this uh, army set um, paywall kind of thing. I think it would have been more beneficial uh, for Games Workshop to have released this army set with the book then the Battle Tome separately, like a standard edition, and at least the, these three box sets individually. Um, you know, they've made the miniatures for them with all of the sets. I think that they uh, could have had these um, units uh, separately in the box. 
and I'm strong to believe that that should always be the case, uh, that if you're releasing a box set with all of these in there, um, you should release the units individually as well to give people the choice if they, if they want to save a little bit of money on one of these uh, big army sets or if they just want to pick up, I don't know, the Light of Eltharion. We don't know when the rest of this army is going to ship, uh, so a bit like the Sisters of uh, Battle um, army set that was out in, in November, it took a few months for the full release to be well released and we don't know how long uh, it's going to take for these Realm Lords to be fully released as well. Uh, so you may well be sat there on this army, you may well have painted them already. These have been out for a, a couple of weeks, but you may be sat on, uh, you know, half of an army, I guess, um, you know, waiting to get that uh, Avelinor or waiting to get a Stone Mage um, or even Teclis, of course. Um, but still, it's a big investment to pay for a brand new army um, that is not tried and tested out of the gate. So I understand why it is the price it is, because if you break it down to a start collecting set of £60 and then a uh, collector's edition book at 50 then it makes sense that that's 110 not including your £20 dice and your cards and your tokens and your range ruler and things like that. I just wish they would have released all of these components separately. Anyway, that's my little preamble about the box set. What we'll do is we'll just look at the models uh, individually and then I'll give you my final summary. If you haven't already, I would suggest you check out my individual reviews of these three units and uh, I even released uh, the review of the um, Battle Tome uh, yesterday. That's quite an exhaustive review. I go through uh, quite a lot of the rules uh, for uh, most of the units. The shortened version of their army is that nearly everyone's a mage and most of them have sun metal weapons that cause a ludicrous amount of um, mortal wounds and the Light of Eltharion is, is such a tank and Teclis himself is an absolute archmage wizard. Very, very good unit um, to bind and unbind spells. You'd expect that. So let's have a look at the models themselves. Let's start, let's kick off with um, the Light of Eltharion. Uh, absolutely beast of a model. Uh, speaking of which, I, I sort of fell in love with, with this model um, when it came out. Uh, I love this uh, kind of ghost armor ever since I watched Bed Knobs and Broomsticks uh, as a child. Uh, I, w I was um, enamoured by uh, armour that kind of came to life, um, you know, on its own accord. And uh, this is it. This is like the suit of armour um, that doesn't have a physical uh, presence in there, physical person. Uh, I just love it. I, I think Games Workshop have done an amazing job uh, with the design of this model and, and the look of it. I love the helmet. I love the two swords, well, the dagger and the, and the blade. Um, I love the scenic base, um, a lot of presence and really fits well with the, the rest of the army. Um, don't leave home without him basically, yes he's 220 points but he can yeah, wreak havoc. He's even got a little um, missile weapon too as a bonus. Uh, then we've got the mainstay of the whole of um, the Lumineth Realm Lords, these are wardens. You've really got to have these wardens uh, to get uh, the Sun Riders and even the Sentinels, you know, the archers. Um, you, you can't really get the, those other units without these. Um, I think each one of these units you can have one of, uh, of the others. Um, so these are definitely the, the mainstay of, of the army. Uh, they're quite fun, uh, straightforward to put together. They've got these massive long, um, in the game terms, you know, three inch pikes, uh, which are clearly um, you know, at the mercy of being broken or bent in uh, carry cases. So I, I'd just be careful with them, uh, all kinds of spears. At least they're not metal. I think metal ones or made out of zinc or whatever would fare worse and uh, fine cast even worse, <laughs> even, even more so. Um, so, but they are lovely models. Um, they've all got like individual uh, runes on their uh, shields. Um, here's the, the blade master. Um, you get a nice like scenic base with him. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really cool with this lantern thing, shield on the back, uh, sheath for the sword. You can actually equip him with something else as well, I think. A um, little bit of uh, foliage there, or wheat or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, they are, some of them are in some really decent poses. Um, you could just imagine them sort of beating back a bloodthirster or I don't know, other steeds, other knights from other armies, chaos mons. Um, my mind uh, 
comes to that. So really nice looking solid, uh, I say troop choice, you know what I mean, um, battle line um, choice, uh, really cool looking. And then finally, um, other than Alfari and one of my other favourite uh, models of the set, uh, the Dawn Riders. Um, they just reek of uh, this um, Riders of Rohan kind of thing with these manes and this uh, kind of horse feature on his helmet um, with the uh, and lance in its uh, pommel, I want to call it. I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, holder. Lovely, lovely steeds here. Um, I just realised I need to do a bit of cleaning up there with the gap but uh, I usually have a good once over before I spray. Uh, this banner bearer, pretty awesome too. Yeah, the steeds are, are fantastic. I went for this one as well, just uh, charging with that lance. Yeah, fantastic models, uh, lovely shields, lots of detail. Um, you know, uh, a unit of 10 of these um, would look uh, very impressive on the battlefield um, if you can get 10. Um, really looking forward to the other uh, miniatures in the series, such as the uh, Cathari, the, um, the Stone Mage, Teclis, of course, and uh, the Stoneheart King, and a Velenor, um, and Alarith. Uh, they look incredible and I can't wait to give you their uh, unboxings and reviews. Um, I think in the meantime, between these releases, I'll be releasing a couple more um, Slaves to Darkness unboxings and reviews, which I hope you'll really enjoy. So stay tuned to the channel for them. But what do you guys think of uh, this box set and all the miniatures? Uh, I know they're not for everyone's taste, these uh, cow elves. Uh, but they just struck a chord with me and I wanted to collect uh, an order army um, in Age of Sigmar for quite a while and uh, I'm pleased that these came out because I much prefer them to the uh, the Daughters of Cain models because that would have been my um, second choice. Just got to pick up um, two other order factions now, an order of death, the faction of death and the faction of chaos. Chaos will easily be gloom spike gits, absolutely love them and uh, Faction of Death, I'm leaning more towards the Ossiarch Bone Reapers than the Nighthaunt, uh, but with the Ossiarch Bone Reapers I understand I can still um, pick up Nagash. Um, so that will be a long way off and I'm not going to start those armies until I've uh, fully painted this one. Um, so please stay tuned to the channel and you'll see uh, these uh, fully painted um, when they're all complete. Like I say, leave your thoughts and opinions down below about this set. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Techless protects.